by uh, Alex Tewis film. Life is interesting. Things can happen. You don't know what is going inside my head. I'm so sad right now. What the fuck? Before anyone says anything, I know that I didn't need to make this video. I know that there will be comments telling me that I am punching down and I don't need to validate this with a response, but frankly, I still feel like I do. Lol, what? Especially because I see certain parties, that being Manga Common and others, trying to change the narrative about what happened in this situation because apparently lying is the most fun you can do without taking your clothes off. You get angry at someone you love and, you know, first of all, you, you know, at, at some level you're wishing harm. Now that might only be that you want to win the argument and you want them to be nicely crushed while you do it. But so, so there's a desire that comes along with the anger. But, it, but there's a lot of other things that happen too. So, for example, if someone's annoying you, even if you love them, the probability that at that moment you're going to be able to easily access all the memories you have about how annoying they are and have difficult time accessing the memories about how wonderful they've been to you is quite high. You know, and you know that because sometimes you get angry with someone, you have an argument with them, and you sort of clue in later, you snap out of your more or less possessed state, and you think, yeah, well, you know, I really wasn't taking the context into mind, and I was kind of harsh. And also, might I add, make a comment. Let it be known that I so appreciate the fact that you try to keep it classy in front of us women by not swearing. I really do appreciate that because my fragile little constitution simply cannot handle any form of cussing. If I hear someone swear even a little bit, I just fall- SHUT THE FUCK UP! Man, those Jordan Peterson clips never really fail, do they? To break it down in the simplest way for you guys, unless you already understood it, in which case, high five. You get a star and, uh, I don't know, maybe a cookie later on if I feel like baking. But uh, in its simplest form, it's that anger is such a powerful emotion that it can misconstrue your ideas so that you form a narrative that's not actually the real narrative. So context will be missing because that's just how the mind works. I know, it's pretty sad. That's why when you have control of your emotions and you don't really spurg out, you pretty much control everything with a clear head, you're more likely to come out on top because you're relying mostly on your logic. You have everything under control, you can remember things more clearly. That's why dishonest people are often spurgs because all they ever do is, oh well Sen, you said this, and then I say, did you watch the video? And they say, no I didn't, and I'm like, well, you know, that's probably why, because I clearly stated this. Now a lot of people, a lot of my detractors, I know people are just gonna say, oh no, you're just saying that because you want to dodge criticism. No, it's not that, it's just that I'm not running a charity and I'm not looking to spend another year dealing with stupidity. I already did that, I paid my dues by humoring dumb, dishonest people, and I'm not gonna do it anymore. And I don't have an obligation to. I'm not trying to sway any of you. Keep in mind, I'm trying to lecture you. Right? There's this misconception that I'm like some big exposed channel. No, fuck that. I'm not a gossip channel like freaking creep show either. Because if I wanted to gossip, I'd just go on Kiwi Farms, make an account or something. No, I just say my piece. I come in, take a paycheck from Susan. Maybe gather a following. I guess that's kind of nice there. Maybe. I mean, I'm still a fucking human, so maybe I, I still like... Uh, being praised by people? I don't know, man. Oh, human beings are complex. We should all be replaced by robots at some point to fix everything. Oh, <laughs> but I try my darnest to stay consistent. I make sure I stand by pretty much everything I say, and I have not been inconsistent. I think, uh, unless there are people that are like, "Hmm, hi, hypocritical of you. I'm gonna higher focus on this thing that you said without, you know, just completely missing the point." So, you know, those people, epic dunks. Good job. Uh, but you're never gonna get a god shot on me, uh, ever again, because I do truth, I'm blunt, I'm honest, I'm not looking to look like the good guy, right, the, the poster boy, no, I, I'm just the realest guy, I don't wanna be the nice guy, I wanna be the realest guy, hate me, love me, that's up to you. Uh, I would have an easier time being the nice guy, but, I mean, as I stated, I love me a challenge, and that's another reason why I chose Peaches primarily, as well, to come to the defense of, it seems like a lot of dogpiling. I know people are gonna say that it's not, but I go to Creepshow Art's uh, comment section and, oh baby, you cannot tell me that's not dogpiling. I saw a couple hundred thousand subscriber creators out there just trashing Peaches as well. Mm, full of shit you are.
But yeah, the point is, what does Peaches have as a defense? Like, Harley TBS. Wow, big deal. Oh my god, Harley, the legendary. Look, I'm not trying to downplay Harley or anything. I'm just kidding, bro. Calm down. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, though, you see the comparison I'm trying to make here is that Harley doesn't have the clout that a 100,000 subscriber channel that's supporting Creepshow art would. Neither do I, for that matter. But again, I'm not trying to turn you against Creepshow. I'm just bringing up this perspective for all of you. And most importantly, you know, because I'm selfishly doing this for me, I'm challenging myself, I'm playing devil's advocate, and I'm going to be proven right because I think I presented a great argument for why I'm right. Anybody that tries to dispute it always goes to Peaches is lying, Peaches is manipulating you, Peaches is uh, evil or something. And the, the reason for that is simply it boils down to petty mean girls drama. You know, a creep show doesn't even need to make a 27 minute video to just break it down as petty mean girls drama. That's all it is. And if you want to go one step further and give an even more, like, simplistic explanation for this and the inner workings of psychology or whatever the fuck, <laughs> I don't know. The simplest of simplest terms uh, from a male, uh, you know, a, you know, so, some guy that, you know, actually has some tea in their system. Maybe it's that creep show's jealous of. Peaches as looks like I mean have you seen creep show and peaches the comparisons are like night and day peaches is actually cute creep show not so much oh my god Susan's gonna take down this video now isn't she <laughs> but in all seriousness though you've always seen the whiny SJWs that have the same points and act the same way the creep show does and they're always complaining about how miserable their life is how they don't have a man blah 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 blah, blah. it's usually because they're not attractive enough if you're smart then you have every, you know, reason to show that off. Queen, yas, whatever. But uh, Creepshow's not really smart. She, again, as I've stated multiple times, primarily, primarily uses the emotional bait. And again, I love it how nobody ever said, no, you're wrong, said she doesn't use emotional bait. In fact, I have some people from her own subscriber count coming to my channel and saying, yeah, she does, and that's kind of what turned me off about her. That's kind of what drew me away from her. The constant use of emotional bait. And it's gossip, of course, you're gonna rely more so on emotion than you are actual points because it's gossip. Gossip is primarily emotional bait, right? It's not based on any fact. It's just word of mouth from people that don't like you. Again, petty mean girls drama. At the end of the day, I'd rather take Peach's aside for multiple reasons. I'm not scared about being used or manipulated by her because I'm not a rebard. I feel like a lot of people need this tough love kind of thing where people like I think their families have failed them and spoiled them or maybe they're just not aware of how the world really works. You can make the argument that oh creep show is does the same thing as, as peaches so therefore that cancels it out and that means creep shows allowed. Like, you're missing one key thing here. Uh, who's the aggressor in this situation? It's uh, it's creep show. It's not peaches. Uh, I don't know why dishonest people, like, that's how you can tell you're dealing with a dishonest person because they'll make that argument and, and like, they try to come off like they're so smart and they have so many gotchas on you, but you see how incredibly flawed their logic is, right? Another false equivalency is like, oh, you're like Luke because you're slandering. I didn't slander shit, bro. I said the creep show does a similar thing that Luke does. She uh, preemptively strikes her targets when they're smaller than her and aren't doing anything. Fact. That's what Luke did. Going a little further into it, it was when Luke heard Harley was cooking up something for him that he decided to strike first. It was when creep show learned that Peaches and friends or whatever were cooking something up to defend Peaches that she made her move. You know that this is bullshit and you don't need to do this, but you just want to bury your 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 individual, your target so much to a point where they can't defend themselves. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all the reasons I took Peaches aside, why people are taking Peaches aside, right? Again, you want to be blissfully ignorant and dishonest with yourselves, that's fine. I don't mind it, you know? Go for it. Go for it. Maybe maybe you'll channel that. Maybe you'll channel that into success one day. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but arguing with me in a comment section, trying to get cheap gotchas on me, right? Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Because at the end of the day, I fight with nothing but blunt honesty. Even if it makes me look bad. Because you know what? 
I don't care about looking bad as long as I'm proven right. And that's never going to change.